Hello guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys something which no one has ever done before, even off YouTube or off anywhere. This is my 2010 high speed with zero airflow blades. So I had a plan. Instead of getting a new blade set, why don't I modify this fan into something spectacular? For example, look at this blade. This is shit. This is from my new project fan, video coming soon. Guess the model. It's derived from Crompton Deck Air. So I'm gonna be turning this high speed into a four bladed ceiling fan. Sounds right. Four bladed high breeze. Let's see, Deck Air. But four bladed high speed, none has done. So let's get to work. Now what I'm gonna do is now remove all these things and continue. Now it's done, so what I'm gonna do is remove the blade screws, place this motor cover on that and see how much precision I get. So guys, I've tried to measure, so this is one of the blade screws falls on the label. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking one picture of the label and then pulling it off. So successfully remove the label. This is the only label which we needed to remove now. I'll go on to the marking after some time. I'm gonna be taking a break now. And, and let's see how it goes. Just wish it goes well. This is a hard work project. So guys now I'm on to marking holes. I've marked two holes because already two work so I did the opposite side and now I'll start from this side and go to the opposite side and then mark the holes accordingly and show you guys. All the holes have been put in their respective places. So what I'm gonna do is just make sure all holes came. Once I locate all the holes, I'm gonna be placing the blade, centering the holes, and then punching them. So guys, I've marked the holes. Only three sets of holes need to be drilled. And this is gonna work as is. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'll put this in my bag and take it to the drill and tap shop and ask how much they would cost to do this job and we'll see through it. Let's go. So guys, I'm gonna be taking the fan for drill and tap. As you can see in the previous part, I did the whole work, the whole tapping, like the whole marking. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be removing the motor cover and putting the stator on the fan side. We'll do that. So guys, I'm doing with this. So I'm going to be taking one blade and the fan with one set of blade screws. So he gets the correct tap according to the screws. I also left the screws here because this has does not need to be altered. The only place of alteration is here, here, and here. So we'll see how well it goes. Wish me luck. So guys, I've got the drill job done. He actually gave it to me. Instead of getting the drill hand tap, I just got the drill. And yeah, this tape which you're seeing, this is the company provided holes which I closed. So to conquer this no tap issue, these are the pre-tapped holes from Crompton, but I am showing you what I'm gonna do. So let me get to show. So I got some hardware here. Really basic stuff. So I have the screw right here which will go through this and wait I'll, sh I'll show that this should thread right in oh. so I'll show you what I mean so I have 8 bolts 16 washers and 16 nuts so I'll just rig jerry rig one up for you and I'll show so guys these are the threaded holes so there is no there is quite a bit of hard work but let me show you the unthreaded hole so the bolt falls off so how I'm gonna conquer this is put a washer and then a bolt first that's gonna go even for the threaded one so I'll do it for all and I'll show you 
so guys this is how it's going to be i chose too long it is too long so i'll you know do stuff so now how it's going to work i'm going to be putting one blade it's a little off i'll take care of that in a moment this one so what i'm going to do is to fasten it each washer on the side and that's how it's going to be working so tomorrow i'll do this because it's late night now uh, i'm going to do all the adjustments for the other screws and then i'll see you tomorrow goodbye so guys i actually assembled the fan and the blades so i put two white blades just because i don't want you know three brown and one white so just to have a good equal transition i've done this all the blades are sturdy with my setup as i showed you yesterday sorry i didn't shoot much of the cold line is now on fans going to be going there and we'll see how well it performs so let me do a camera trick and yeah so guys the fan is installed finally so i technically killed the motors here because i scratched it all so see kind of is original you can see the step height increased bolt setup by and on the connections up there too now let's switch it on and see how well this works speed is three blade high speed and it's wobbling because the two, the two high speed blades are bent so guys this is a success this is going to my bedroom so guys now i don't know if i should get this repainted when i find the new blade set the decker looking ones but All your guys suggestions are welcome always to blade crap in high speed still it's very nice air flow i can't believe but i'm with my decker hs back again and um, i actually used it in my bedroom i tested it it was great but there were a few niggles i found out I used two 90s high breeze blades with two high speed blades, and as you saw in the, you know, this is from the other high speed video coming soon. I swapped it just because of the scratches. That was the big reason. Yeah, so what I'm gonna be doing is, I want to be painting this fan, but before that I want to swap out all these niggle problems, you know, small problems that I have relating to the bolts. So let's get wrenching. What I'm gonna be doing is. I'm going to be putting the screwdriver at this end and using the spanner and tightening this as much as I can because these are getting loose and that's not good when the fan is running. That's the reason I uninstalled it. You know, just sort out those niggles. Even the down rod is from the other high speed. I swapped it because this was cut, so I'll have to find a replacement for this as well. There's lots to do. Let's see what we come up with. After all the hard work, the all the screws have been aligned and everything. So for for the time being, I'm going to be assembling the fan back and putting it away. You know, until I save up for repainting it and getting the spare set of blades. See you till then. So, guys, it's been a while since I touched the Decker High Speed because I was scared that you know the four blades on a 48 inches motor it will end up burning. Luckily, it didn't after my use for one V. But then I thought to get a 56 inch stator and swap it in. This is a Crompton. High speed 56. This is a new model. Like someone scrapped it because the electrician did wrong connections to make it rotate reverse. I fixed it. I got this bladeless for very less, very cheap. So I'll swap the stators in so that the 56 stator can actually handle one extra 48 blade much better. Just the load is 24 inches extra. It can handle that. It's a high speed motor. So there's the Riviera in the background. That's also a new collection. That's donation fan. So let's. show you the difference between the stators and swap them 
so guys i have both the coils side by side the h hs56 hs42 48 so we'll remove this and keep it aside we'll just keep it somewhere so this it's just like there and remove this and move this away so if you can see the difference which between 48 and 56 coil okay so these are the two coils first you can see is the 56 coil is a little bit thicker than the 48 now the reason being now let me show you again I'll show you from like this also You can see this difference. Now the difference is because the 56 inch stator it runs differently because it has to handle bigger, longer blade. So it is uh, the the thickness is increased of the laminations here. This is and this is less than this is this. This is more. So this stator is perfect for my high speed daycare project application. So I can use this and i am not gonna i will not have any problem of burning most probably uh, in case i have then it won't be good but i have this so let's fix it in to place so this is the upper bearing thing plate cover so now i'll see you after we have assembled it so actually guys i am condemning this fan I put it stator in the decker high speed as you know. So the decker high speed his stator went into the Riviera because the Riviera stator is burnt. And I knew that that's why I purchased it for a steel deal. You know so I, I can rewind that and use it in this fan. I, I can do that but I'm not wanting to do this because some high speed spare parts are good at hand because you saw my uncle's high speed which I did uh, restoration it had a hole in it so these problems can be cured by such parts so i'd like to keep this that coil also if some fan burns then i'll rewind that so guys first before i want before i test the decker hs with all the four blades on the 56 inch stator i wanted to do two blades as you remember we did last time top test One blade is bent and the motor bolt is a little loose. So now we'll put the other two blades. So guys now four blades. Let's switch it on. There's gonna be wobble because of one of the bent blades. It's taking good RPM airflow is also awesome. After I get a new set of blades and I'll repaint it and I'll realign the blades, it'll work awesome. So the 56 inch stator, I will give you my calculations. So when a 56 inch stator, we put 348 volts. So there is 7 inch load less per blade. That is 21 inches load less on the whole fan, on the whole 56 fan with 48 blades itself. So, with taking that theory in mind, as we have 21 inches less load, we can overload it with one 48 inch blade extra. So it will have around, you know, 24 inches. 24 to 26 inches extra load because that extra load won't matter a little bit most probably see because these are powerful motors a few inches load extra it won't die easily so let's do another start slow start of course you know that awesome now let's put that high speed back in its original place